Well, welcome back everybody to our Fossils and Archaeology mod. Uh, we are having fun here and you can see in the background some new additions since the last episode. Uh, Andy RRR and uh, others have been on the server and you can see that someone has built a uh, a bridge. <laughs> I could call it a bridge. A, a monorail. Uh, we're going to go and have a look at that before we go off and do some dinosaurs and then we'll come back and talk about why it is here. So let's just go and have a good look at it and I'm going to do a fleeting look because we'll come back to it later in the episode. But these here, the pumpkins and markers, uh, we've got some uh, people on doing some building as I said we would. But uh, this is the first, well, we've tried a couple of versions of this and I tweeted a picture of this. Uh, earlier in the week but uh, here it is in real life uh, this is this is going to be the Jurassic World monorail as we have it and it's a single monorail at the moment so you can see it coming out of the trees and across the lake however it doesn't carry on very far because we've just been building it anyway there you go I thought you might want a quick look at that before and we'll come back and talk about the monorail system and how we are going to implement it on this world because if you remember where we left it the other day we had some uh, dinosaur eggs and we are now going to go across and breed our first dinosaur I found a lovely spot uh, over the way and uh, I've set a warp there as well so we're going to head out we're going to go get some stuff together first because we want to do some uh, building. Let's go back into our area. There we go. We haven't finished digging this out because we've been concentrating on that architecture over there. But there we go. Rightio. So let me go and pull this stuff back in here. Get rid of this. Because you can see also I've got a load of wood. And I'm going to show you why I've got a load of wood. Absolute turn of wood. Because we've got a new... Oh, look at that. Because we got a new plug-in for our world. So there we go. Where's the green stuff? There's more over here. And you can see the apples. They are all being picked. And I'll show you how we do that. So what I'll do is just get some stuff together. And we'll head over to the new area where we're going to breed our first dinosaur. So which dinosaur are we going to try and breed first? Well, I found a lovely area for... And wait for it because... There are several ways to say this. I'm going to call it a plesiosaur because it can be a plesiosaur or a pliosaur. Uh, people call it all different names, but I'm going to call it a plesiosaur. That's all I'm going to say, plesiosaur. So, and I'm going to call it that from this point on. Now, we got the culture vats last time, and we want to place one in there. And we got loads of meat, so we're going to take half the meat there. Now, hopefully, uh, we're... We're going to shouldn't get any problem with this culture that should start working let's go and put that other one in there and hopefully we're going to get uh hey there it is it's working i was a bit worried then because raw different meat would work so there you go and it'll start working so while that uh while it's cooking hopefully it's not going to explode because remember the previous episode that hey there you go finally what i'm going to do though i tell you what let's take five because it doesn't need more i like to be very careful this time what i'm going to do is going to have a go at a couple of other dinosaurs which are coming next and uh, let's have a look dna uh we are looking for oh we've got those anyway so i'm not going to waste my time i would like and we haven't got any oh yes the Gallimimus. I'm going to see if we can get a Gallimimus. Because I really like that. So let's try that. So what I'm going to do is let these go. And hopefully we won't get any exploding dinosaurs. Oh, oh we've got that. Anglosaurus. Don't want a Tyrannosaurus. Oh, shall we go? That's more. Oh, the Brachiosaurus is too big. Pterosaurs we don't need yet. We've got loads of them. Let's have a look at the Dilophosaurus and see if we can grow and get one of them bred. We shall see. There we go. Right here. Right. So we'll let them get going. See how these are going. Oh, we're halfway through nearly. Absolutely wonderful. So let's hopefully be all right. So what I'm going to do is while I'm uh, waiting for those. 
uh, we're going to carve out some more of the roof which I need to carve out of here and see if I can get rid of some of this while I'm waiting and I'll come back once we uh, get our first egg so we're doing pretty well here I'm just carving out to make the roof higher uh, there we go so let's go and have a quick look see what we get Much careful oh oh very close very close well that's going pretty well as well and no breakages so far fingers crossed everybody so i'll come back again once uh, it should be pretty close actually so yeah what's been going right okay so yeah we found i found a lovely area to start growing these but when they're small babies you've got to be very careful because they will run tend to try and run away straight away uh, quite interesting actually the AI literally tries to run off so you've got to be very careful about containing the <gasps> yes please you saw egg uh, oh now I've got trouble and I can't put it back in so I need to just uh, throw this down a minute so we got one Ooh. oh five, two we got two right let's just go and put these in here so we keep them in it there we go let's just chuck these in here a second because right okay so we've got two so i'm going to explain what we do with these eggs in a minute but let me just go and dump all this stone that i've got into here we we'll just keep collecting it now so i've got some stuff to build it with i've got the iron bars we've got i'm going to use ancient stone on the build as as the pen as such but we're going to build it in a natural habitat. Uh, we've got ancient stone stairs, ancient stone slab, and ancient stone. Uh, oh, different number, same name. And I've got some mossy stone as well. I thought because we, it, these are water creatures, as such, uh, uh, water reptiles. Uh, we're going to put those down. So we've got the stuff together that we want at the moment, and uh, we're just going to. Oh, must make sure I've got some food, because what we haven't done. Is we haven't just checked out about the uh, feeding of this uh, reptile dinosaur. Right, let's go back. Okay, so we're back here, and just to finish off, we've got two more. We've got the uh, D Dilophosaurus, and no breakages, the Gallimimus. So we've got those. So we haven't got any place to put them yet. So I'm just going to put them in the in here and I'm going to uh, take the plesiosaurs out in a minute but first of all we need to make a feeder because uh, when we get there uh, we're not sure whether I'm not sure whether any fish will actually spawn in the water area that I've got for it so what I'm going to do is make sure that we have uh, the feeder so to make a feeder what you need to do is you put four blocks down there uh, a bucket which I haven't got there so let's just make the bucket first before anything else there we go right get the bucket and then yeah two so let's try that again so we need yeah we've got the button so we need unusual uh, craft in this one uh, two iron up there a normal bucket in the middle a glass block at the top you can hardly see that on this particular and a button there hurrah we have a feeder uh, in fact what I should have done is made two of them because it would have been better just while I've got that to make two and then we can get rid of it Ooh, I was supposed to make a bucket don't be silly come on make that bucket right there we go so let's make the feeder now feeder come on let's just go uh, we'll just finish off doing that and then we'll be all right all right put the bucket in there where's that piece of glass gone again there we go so we've got two feeders that's what we wanted so what I'll do is just put all this stuff back and then we'll explain the next bit so yeah before we go out to the new site where we're going to put the plesiosaur or we're going to just make a dinopedia now what you need for a dinopedia is two items you need a book I need some DNA now we got some old DNA that we're not going to use so I'm going to use DNA got myself a book here you literally put the DNA next to the book and that gives us a dinopedia now the reason we need a dinopedia is that uh, we're going to need it to see how the egg grows when it's ready to 
uh, hopefully hatch and also tells us the health of the creature as well so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the uh, new area so i've set a sp a special warp because that's what we're going to do in this world i've got uh, a warp and if i tap warp you get to see the warps uh, and so we're going to type uh, warp plesiosaur because i've already sourced out a site and we are here look at this we've got uh basically at the top north uh it's the north if i get right yes it's going to be the northwest of the island we have got a lake area here it used to be a river but it stops here and i'm going to show you come up here and show you uh, literally through here which i hope to make a feature once we get full size is we have got the uh sea the ocean and uh, this is something which I'm going to go back into. Why have we got these around the island? Uh, we'll come to that again. I'm going to show you towards the end of the video a bit of an insight into what we're doing behind the scenes. And there's another one over there. You might be able to guess now. Anyway, so this is where we are going to have uh, the plesiosaur area. And uh, basically it goes over here. But what I've got to do is before I start hatching something, I've got to stop it uh, escaping. Because one of the things that we have learnt... Uh, watching the uh, dinosaur mod is as soon as the little one hatches out it will try and do a runner so at the moment I haven't put a fence up around here and I'm going to clear some of the jungle I'm going to show you that but first of all let's build a little area over here which is going to be the beach area really and uh, it's quite good because we've got some high bank in here apart from up this end and uh, I hope what I'm going to do is we're going to make some sort of exit out there to the sea because it's a tameable creature and we can actually ride them later like a, almost like a boat uh, and it's a very colorful creature as well so what i want to do is i'm just going to uh, prepare a bit of a beach area here with sand just clear it out i want a bit flat area but also i want to be able to sort of stop it running off uh, over this way so the easiest way is just break it out and chisel this out and hopefully they won't escape up there but what I want to do as well I just want to build a bit of a uh, like a, almost a hatching area for it uh, over here by the wall because I do not want it to escape and if even if you leave almost one block you will see when it hatches out that it is quite a small little thing so this is our going to be our first uh, first dinosaur and it's actually a sea reptile so it's not really a dinosaur as people will tell me so I'm quite happy that I know that but it is very beautiful and uh, so what I'll do is just finish digging this little area out I'm going to put sand make it a little beach area here and we'll come back oh my <laughs> look what I found <laughs> oh unbelievable I was just digging this out and I have got a spawner now that could complicate the matters, but let's go and see. Unbelievable. That was just absolutely... Oh, there's lava in here as well. Let's see what's down here, because I'm in... Wow. What's in here? we got discs. I'm going to leave that in there. So it's a skelly spawner. Not that I want one for this particular game. My end. Oh, golden horse. Oh, golden horse armor as well. Well, well, well. What a surprise. Uh, yeah, that was really weird. I want to keep the cactus as well. What I'm going to do is just going to fill that in at the moment. I may just keep that as a bit of an area. But that was a well a right surprise there. So what I'm going to do here, what I'm going to do is just make a little cage here to hatch the little thing into. What I've done here is lit this up so that no more uh, creatures spawn in here. I'm just going to block it up. I know it's there if I need to use it later, but I don't at the moment. And then what we're going to do is do a little bit of a caged area really to uh, s sort him out so he doesn't or she doesn't because we don't know which one it is. So what I'm going to do is just going to build a bit of a, oh that didn't go right did it? Yeah a bit of a caged area and don't put it up, fact, look watch this, if I do this you must just make sure that it can't swim underneath. Oh. There we go. Right, I think. Oh no! Look, I got that. Did that wrong there? Yeah, it's that one. 
and I'll put the water in afterwards. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a little bit of an area for our little dino, and then we're going to set the egg down. There's a couple of things we need to do. We need to re be here when it actually hatches, because some of the dinos, now it doesn't actually say clearly, some of the dinos were instantly tameable. If, uh, if, I want to say, if you if they you are standing within six blocks for a herbivore and two blocks for a meat eater but some only some of them and it lists them in the uh, fossil and archaeology revival mod wiki so head over there so what i'm going to do is just going to finish this little pen and then we're going to set our little egg in motion don't do that yeah i'm going to set Bit, the only trouble with these fences is still hard, whichever mode you're in. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to set a little pen and I'll do one more. Oh, oh dear, come. <laughs> uh, I have fun with this. Yeah, oh, look at that. I'm missing. This is a trouble. That's the only trouble with lion bars. They are, you've got to really. really have got to be particular with them anyway right so we're going to get our first egg and off we go with it and a bit of sun here which is good we've got the shaders back on uh, and they are listed in my it's chalk apricks and the medium settings and i'm getting a clean 30 frames a second even if that's on now what doesn't happen is what would be really good is if they did a flat the opposite way but I, what I want to show you is what I'm going to be using is this stone here. Let me just show you, which, as I said, ancient stone slab. Uh, now, I wonder if I can get away with placing this on there. Yeah, I can, actually. Uh, to stop the little one escaping went from when I start. It's a really nice stone, this. So what I'm going to do is when I build any pens... Uh, as such and I'm going to do some building here I'm going to make like a an area where they can come out with well okay everybody I'm afraid we have to come to the end of this video uh, we've got didn't realize how much time we've taken and go on but in the next episode you will see the new two baby uh, please stores uh, if you want to have a look at them check my Twitter account because you better see a picture of them on there we'll be getting the second video pretty quick after this one uh, if you haven't caught up the series and there's a chance to catch up with the series and in future I'm also going to be looking to name the dinosaurs from the uh, viewers who watch Watch the series so have a think about names and see if you want to comment I'd say this is uh, series is going from strength to strength if you want to comment please comment and please press that like button it's much appreciated and we'll be back very shortly with the next episode where we actually breed the little baby dinosaurs thanks for watching and bye bye all